What's going on guys, it's Valence, I'm back with a video, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record your PS5 gameplay without a capture card. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a like on the video. We're on our way to 200,000 subscribers, so if you guys can smash that subscribe button, if you guys are new, it would mean a lot. With that said, let's hop into the video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your gameplay without a capture card. So on the PS4, you guys can record 1080p 30 frames per second, but on the PlayStation 4 Pro, I think you guys could record 60, but I'm not too sure about that. But today we're going to be talking about the PS5. So first off, right on your controller, at the top left hand corner, that's the button you guys are going to be using to record your gameplay. So first off, we're going to head on over to our settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to capture and broadcast. We're going to go to capture and you guys can select the option for your shortcut button. So I have the standard option selected for now. You guys can choose easy screenshots or easy video clips. I just have it on standard. Next, you guys can choose how long you want your gameplay clips to be. I chose one hour, but you guys can choose 30 or 15. I would say 30 or 15 is a good amount. After that, we're gonna go to a screenshot format JPG is the most compatible, so you guys should just select that. And then now on to video format. If you guys are gonna edit on the PS5 using Share Factory, WebM is the most efficient. But if you guys are planning to send the footage onto your PC and then editing it from there, choose MP4, because this is the most compatible and it's gonna work with Sony Vegas, Adobe, and all those different editing softwares. So right here, you guys have the option to include your mic audio. I have it on on and also your party audio. Now on to broadcast. This is where you're going to choose your video quality for your live streams and gameplay recording. So for default, it's going to be on 1080p 30 frames per second. I changed it to 1080p 60. There's also 720p 60 but we want the best quality, so we're gonna choose 1080. There's also an option to record 4K, but I'm not sure if it's at 60 frames per second because I don't have a 4K monitor. Here's just the audio settings, camera, if you guys do have a camera, and overlay, and a chat option. So that's it for the settings, and we're gonna head on over to our dashboard. So if you guys click this button over here, you guys will see this menu pop up. It's gonna say, take a screenshot or start a new recording. You guys can't record the main screen. So this is why it says cannot record this content. And you guys also have the option to record and save your last 15 minutes or an hour of gameplay. So here's the broadcast options and capture options. You guys can change these formats on the fly instead of going all the way to the settings. So now we're gonna test out the quality and see how it looks. So let's test out Playroom. We're gonna hop into this game. So we're gonna click this button and then, and then we're gonna click on start new recording. Now you guys can see at the top of the screen, it's recording. We're gonna click on any button. Hey. So now we're gonna head back home and we're gonna be getting the footage out from our PlayStation 5. So right here, I have an external hard drive with the USB cable. We're gonna be plugging it into the PS5 and taking out the footage. So we're gonna plug this hard drive right into the PS5. So now that we have the hard drive connected, we're gonna head on over to our PS5. Now that we're on our PS5, we're gonna to go to our media gallery. 
go on to our footage. So right here we can watch the footage. So if you guys want to copy it over onto your hard drive or USB, so click this button on your PS5 controller and this option is going to show up. Now you guys need to go all the way down to the bottom and click on copy to USB drive. And then you just need to confirm it and you guys can choose which hard drive or media device you guys want to save it to. So we're going to save it to the main hard drive, which is five terabytes. So it's pretty quick and it's already finished. So you guys will find the video clip under USB and PS5. So now let's head on over to our computer and see if the footage is there. So now we're on our PC, we're inside of the PS5 folder and there's a folder called create video clips and Astro Playroom, which is the name of the game that we just recorded. So inside of here, we have a screenshot. I don't know why. And right here we have the footage. So it's one minute long, 1920 by 1080 at 59.94 frames per second. The video clip is 187 megabytes. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys learned something new. If this video helped you guys out, smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.